This is Bay Radio International. I'm Cal Sutherland with our new feature where we look a little bit more in depth into the property market here in Spain. Along with our partners at Villa Lux, myself and Romy, take a look at the latest stories around selling, buying and owning and renting property in Spain. So whether you're thinking about moving here, have just moved or lived here for longer, our new regular programme is for you. Uh, Romy, a little bit of a difference to our usual setup this week. Yeah, we do have a little bit of difference. Actually, very excited because, um, yeah, we are joined by our Yes, it's Mara, Mara from the Staging Lab. Yeah, she's going to give us a lot of information today about home staging and the benefits of it. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy to, to have her on here. So Mara, Thank can you. you start with just telling a little bit about, um, yeah, what, what brought you into home staging? Um, yeah, after um, a few years that uh, trying to think about what I, can, I could do and not do, then um, my interest for the real estate was actually growing and growing. Mm -hmm. um, and I always moved in different places, so I always was on Idealista and I always <laughs> found out that uh, some of the properties w could be a little bit better presented mm -hmm. and uh, marketed. Um, so yeah, um, a few years ago I found out about home staging and uh, well that was actually what brought me into do home staging as a professional because um, it allows me to explore my creativity and still work in the sector that I love the most, which is the real estate. So your background was in rentals and uh, real estate, that sort of thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I worked in a few uh, uh, agencies, real estate agencies, um, and then I also worked in uh, hospitality, hotels, um, rentals. So you're always paying attention to the presentation of the properties, right? So the Staging Lab is your company. Tell us specifically, what is home staging for those who might not have heard about it? Well, I like to explain it this way. Um, home staging is actually not going to Ikea and uh, buy two pillows, <laughs> <laughs> placing, uh, placing them in the sofa and then just uh, say that you home staged it, uh, let alone is also not placing these pillows and uh, marketing a property which is overpriced and also expecting that it will be sold with very little investment and effort, okay? Um, so uh, yeah, home staging was created 40 years ago by uh, Barbara Swartz uh, in the United States. And um, well, yeah, sh the main uh, purpose of uh, home staging is to polish the potential of uh, the properties mm -hmm. and um, yeah, to offer a, a good experience to the potential clients and buyers, uh, either if they're willing to buy or rent out for Airbnb. I think the environment that uh, they want to be uh, needs to be positive and well taken care of, and that's what home staging does. Yeah, because sometimes, I mean, obviously, like as an estate agent, we get into a lot of houses, and especially with buyers, it's sometimes you've got buyers that can actually see through these things and they can envision themselves in that home anyway, depending on how it's decorated. But there's also a big bunch of clients that are not really able to do that and once yeah. they walk into a house it's actually a very good house but just the decoration is not exactly how they like or how they would do it they could get thrown off which is a shame. It's, it's a shame yeah it's a shame yeah um so also bec uh, with uh, for example the empty properties um because yeah some people they cannot imagine the, the empty spaces what could they put in mm -hmm. there right mm -hmm. and uh I've also worked in other agencies and uh, we've lost clients because uh, the, the place was empty. It had a big potential, mm -hmm. but it could not show what actually could be done in there, right? So the clients chose to buy something different, which they could imagine more or it was already furnished and decorated. Yeah, quite often we've seen sort of like orange curtains and uh, yeah. and different uh, green sofas and all of that sort I of thing. So I can, I'm getting an idea now of, of 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 what you're you're talking about. But it's it's not just is it that not just what you can uh, see not from the just the colours, but it's also about maybe removing some furniture and putting things in the right places. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, uh, it can go to either decluttering, cleaning, mm -hmm. reorganizing strategically. Um, well, yeah, there's a wide range of things and steps that need to be done in order to home stage a property properly. It, it's got to be about that getting people through the door in the first place, because if they just see it on a website and they automatically think, no, you're not even getting the chance to try and yeah. sell or rent this property, are you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, how many times have you seen on Idealista or Fotocasa or whatever? Um, I'm not going there. No way I'm going th to that property, right? Yeah. <laughs> So. And, yeah, and it's even hard to capture it all in photos. So like the photos that you 
are able to make and show they just have to look good because you need to have these people inside. Yeah, you do a lot of videos, Romy, don't you? So I guess yeah. this is something you have to do before you even start to do that. I or mean, yeah, sometimes it does happen that we go to certain properties. I mean, obviously, we're not home stagers. Um, <laughs> as, of course, it's a service that we could could offer as well. For example, working together with Mara. But um, yeah, it does happen that we go somewhere and we have to take things out of the way or just make sure that this specific thing doesn't show up in the video. But that's that's normal. And I feel like, you know, just just part of the job, mm. things you've got to do. Yeah. Mara, how can home staging help people interested in selling or renting out their property? Well, um, as uh, this can be a very wide uh, solution or, or a service, let's say, um, home staging can uh, help either investors that just bought a property and they want to rent it out for mm -hmm. Airbnb or uh, also state agencies uh, that yeah they want to market better uh, their, their properties that they have listed um, or even the owners which are willing to sell privately um, it, it can also help them there right because um, well yeah you're basically just paying attention to all the good points that the property has and everything that you can do to in order to make it better and improve it so um, yeah I think that can that can uh, be helpful for almost everyone in the in the real estate sector actually you have a key phrase about home staging don't you uh, yeah yeah I do I like to say this because um, after a sale or uh, after someone decides to to sell the place is always a reason behind it's either they want to sell and get some money to buy a smaller property because they got older or they are divorced. This happens a lot and they want to get rid of it so then they can move on to the next stage of life. Um, so I like to call it that uh, home staging is actually the key to your next stage in your life, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Because it will allow you quicker to move on from the next if you can get if you can get the, everything set up and the decor and all of the everything right within the property, more chance of, uh, of being able to get it sorted out. Absolutely. Yeah, and a lot of times, of course, like when when people are wanting to buy a property, want to rent it out, they think about return on investment. <clears throat> that's especially for investor people that just want to. So I mean, that's just really important. Um, how does home staging affect that? Um, well. For example, um, speaking about the uh, investments and uh, rentals, um, well, we have had projects where uh, when we were finished and took a very nice photo shoot and everything was properly done in there, uh, we could increase the price 20 or 30 percent per night. Wow. wow, that's quite a bit. Actually. Yeah, um, but y some people the, they don't realize what they have, hmm. and this is something that I like to educate my clients because. Uh, as Romy was saying before, uh, some people feel attacked when we are talking about the properties, but we are not attacking. We are just trying to help. Maximize the potential. Exactly. So I like to, to tell them that we are here to help you and your property uh, in order to be more expensive so they can get more money. I think that's very important as well because often exactly what you're saying. When you give advice on whether to take something down or to put something else in, it's not because we we personally think that you know we don't like that thing but it's because we know out of experience that it would just be better or it would sell quicker if it's be done like this and that just just depersonalize it and yeah and that's i think a big part of it people to understand that and really think about what it, it will give them back and yeah yeah you, you've had some examples, haven't you, where properties have been perhaps on the market for rent or sale for quite a while without anybody taking it up. Yeah. And, and you managed to turn that around within the space of a week. Yes, exactly. And this was actually uh, a couple from Javia and they were divorced. So they wanted to move on uh, with their lives. Um, but yeah, they had a property in common which was not sold for over a year. Uh, it had very little uh, visits and no one was really showing interest because yeah, the property was quite sad regarding pictures and uh, the state mm -hmm. of the property, no? Um, but yeah, then uh, I went there and it took me two weeks of uh, a lot of work, <laughs> but uh, we really succeeded because, yeah, after a, a week of putting it in the market, it was sold. That's amazing. That's yeah. good. Yeah, it's so, really good. And of course, while people still have these properties, they are still paying, aren't they, for things like Ibi, water, all, all of these different... If uh, you count all of these costs, even uh, insurance of the house and the water, Ibi, mm, mm. the trash uh, tax and uh, all of this, uh, if you mix it up, all this together and then you add it up through the years, 
of course they're worth uh, it's, it's the worth investment it. is worth uh, and certainly you probably you could, you could save a lot of that money by getting a company in like the staging lab to uh, try and get that sale or rentals moved on Sure. Yeah, mm. well, yeah. we also always say, and that that's something for, in this case, for sellers to take into consideration. You got this momentum just when the property lands on the market for the first time, and that's when everything shows up. First page on Idealista, we're just talking about it. You know, when it's being pushed out as much as possible on, on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media works, just just everything. And it's so important to have the property ready to go at that moment because once it's on the market for a month, a month, a month is fine, but like a few months and longer and longer, it just it just goes still. And, and it's hard at that moment to then turn it around, make the changes because you only realize it at that, at that moment and you almost got to remarket it again. And it's really, yeah, it's really important to just to just get an action quick at the yeah. moment you want yeah. to start so selling it. The ideal thing would be to launch a, a property with home staging already, do not wait few months until oh it's not getting sold Let, let's do home staging now to save it no mm -hmm. yeah. to save the property from from it, oh, are there cases shot? where home staging doesn't work um well <laughs> there are some of them um but yeah it's quite an interesting question um the home staging would definitely not work if um you try to sell the property uh with an overpriced with overpriced yeah. right mm -hmm. uh, when it's overpriced <laughs> Um, it will also not work when uh, you, as an owner, um, try to interfere a lot in what to do and what not in the property because, yeah, in the end, we are a team. We are here to... You're the experts. Yeah, and uh, we are here to make the most of it. So we are very uh, happy that <laughs> you have uh, nice children and everything, but the, um, the potential clients are not interested in that, unfortunately, but they are yeah. not. So all the pictures and all of this. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Like, so maybe like, Romy was talking before we came on air about the fact that sometimes, you know, you get rentals where people have left their family photographs up <laughs> and that's not quite what um, yeah. actually helps no. you rent uh, your property. It's no. a nice, it's a nice photo sometimes, but not everybody wants to see that once they walk into a rental home. Yeah. 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 And uh, the last thing I would say that uh, will make uh, home staging not work will be the after the process after it's on the uh, listed on any uh, website um, for example the agent also has a big job in welcoming the client connecting with the client giving proper information about the property of course you can have a first love first eyes uh, yeah. and they fall in love with it straight yeah. away yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah. i meant uh -huh. yeah um, it can happen but it's not usual it's it's a work of all of us to make a uh, sale successful from home staging from until the real estate agent yeah it's a, it's a team effort isn't it Romy I guess yeah it is it's like with everything isn't it you kind of got to communicate and you need to know what to do when to do it but yeah no sure yeah so Mara what would you recommend to anybody thinking about selling or renting I would recommend to find help um, selling and renting a property is not just that it's way more and there is a lot more going on behind it um, I also say listen to the person who is trying to help you and be open-minded because in the end we are here um, yeah to offer help to give you the best experience as a buyer and to offer the best experience to the seller as well so they are comfortable working with mm -hmm. a professional um, so yeah, I'm often telling my clients that uh, we are a team and uh, we, we are going to work together in order to stage the property the best way we can, but also to market later on the property. We will also be there to assist if it's possible. Um, so yeah, that's what I would say, just try to be open-minded and listen to the professionals. <laughs> I think that's some really, yeah, really good advice. It's kind of what we were saying before. Of course, people just have to be open-minded because it's, it's, it is so valuable. And it's something, as, as you were saying, like it's, it's very big in the US already. I think every agent there that goes to list a house, they get a home stager in and they will do that pre-work basically. Um, and, and it's something that, you know, will probably, I think, come up here more and more often as well because it just can add 
a lot of value. And the way the market is here right now as well, yeah. you know, and the, the things are, the prices have increased, the clientele uh, are more wealthy even as well, and, and they will expect that sort of service now. They would, yeah, 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 yeah. it's all getting a bit more. It's I great. Think. I've learned a lot today, actually. <laughs> really, it's an area that I wasn't really sure about, but you've explained it brilliantly, Myra, and, um, and I wish you in the staging lab all the best. How can people get in touch? Uh, well, they can find me on Instagram at, uh, at the dot staging dot lab or uh, well they can also contact me and uh, have a chat no pressures uh, at six four four two nine four seven two three okay they can either call me or uh, send me a whatsapp and i would be happy to have just a informal chat with them and get to know them a bit better it's been great to talk to you today thank, thank you, you very much for enlightening us thank you thank you, thank you. <laughs>